Yeah, it's been incredible. I think we've been waiting for a number of years for something like this to happen. I think we've believed in women's football. We know the product. We know that it's, you know, just as good as the men's game. But I think it's taken the Euros um, to be on our TV screens and here in the UK um, to really kind of bring it home. Um, so, yeah, just fantastic and brilliant that we've made the final as well. And these presumably are brands that haven't been that interested in women's football before? Yeah, I'd say there's a, a real diverse range of brands, right? So I'd say you've got the Nikes of the world that obviously sponsor the men's and the women's, and they've done a fantastic job of really raising the profile of the women's game. Um, they've taken iconic landmarks and put some of the individual players on them. So they've got Leah Williamson on Tower Bridge, they've got Georgia Stanway on the Royal Opera House, and they've got a number of the, the different lionesses on the White Cliffs of Dover. So I think it's, it's a brilliant kind of example of how brands can really raise the profile of those individuals and make them household names. Mm, and um, that... I think you've got other brands like EA Sports, who I'm sure a lot of people have played FIFA and you're able to play on you know, your men's teams, um, but they've really woken up to the fact that women's football is here to stay and they're actually incorporating WSL teams into the game as of next season. Um, and they've also just signed their first ever female women's cover with Sam Kerr appearing alongside Kylian Mbappe. So, yeah, brands that haven't traditionally been in women's sport are really waking up to it and, and wanting a piece of it, which is fantastic. And without going into too much detail, these are big amounts of money, but, I mean, moreover, these women are absolutely role models now, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I think that it's a job role that all of them really relish um, and it's something that they really want to pave the way for individuals and young girls that are looking at football. Um, it is a career now. It's something that you can earn money from full time. And I think, you you know, the revenues on field and off field are only going to increase after this after this tournament. Um, I think the biggest thing that they kind of want is they want more opportunity for for young girls to get into football um, and I think exactly what Ian Wright said the other night on the BBC I think it was a case of they he wants women's football to be part of the school curriculum um, and I think that's only going to increase player pathways and, and opportunity for young girls to to get to that top flight level. That was a fantastic moment from Ian Wright wasn't it? Uh, Suzanne fantastic yeah. to talk to you let's hope there's good news uh, on Sunday and uh, we can bring it to everyone on on Monday as well thank you so much Suzanne thanks. No problem thank you.